Hi you guys, welcome to Math Today. I've got something new that I want to introduce to you. Today is Tuesday, November 15th, and we're gonna talk about the clock. The clock helps us to tell what time it is. We can look outside and we can look and see where the sun is. That helps us to see what kind of time of the day it is. Um, when we eat breakfast, we know it's morning. When we brush our teeth at night, we know it's time to go to bed, we know it's night, but this tells us exactly what time it is. You can also look at a watch or most of the phones these days tell us what time it is, but also a clock does. What I'm gonna teach you today is how you tell what hour it is. The blue hand, we call these hands, even though they don't have fingers, but it's called the hand. The blue hand is, um, tells us, I'll tell you what that means, but here's the blue hand, here's the red hand. When you see the red hand pointing at a number, that's what hour it is. So right here at this time, it's 10. And if this is pointing straight up, that means we would say it's 10 o'clock. Okay, so we're gonna to need to know that for our paper today. I'll show you more how to do that in just a minute. Also, we're going to be counting by twos. Ready, just the red numbers. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We also call these the even numbers. So if I say let's count the evens, we'll start at two, two, four, six. My video, last video cut me off, but we're just counting by evens. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Okay, go ahead and grab this clock paper out. This shows us um, about time. So I'm gonna teach you how to tell time. We'll be practicing this a lot. So write your name at the top. When we make a clock, now I have a little clock, we're gonna make our clocks look like this, okay? So I don't know, it's weird, but we have the 12 at the top. Then you're gonna write a little number next to each of them in order. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so we're going to actually be doing that on um, all of our clocks. So go ahead and push pause and make sure that you get all of your clocks, the numbers written the right way. Okay, so if you want to look at this, you can. Okay, then down here. So now there's no number, so now we have to remember what goes at the very tippy top is a 12. Then you start at one, two. See these bigger dot dashed lines? That's where you're gonna write the number. You might have to ask for some help with this and that is just fine. Okay, and then same over here. This is a lot of numbers to write, so if you want someone to help you write the numbers, that's just fine. Okay, go ahead and push pause, catch up if you need to. I'm gonna start, we're gonna start telling time on this one right here. So on the top left square where the clock is, we're going to write the time. Okay, we're gonna put the short arrow to the nine, the big arrow to the 12. That tells us that it's nine because the short arrow, the short hand to the nine, the long hand to the 12, nine o'clock. I did my hand a little long here, but um, I'm just gonna make it work, okay? See how it's longer up here? Nine o'clock. The way that you write nine o'clock is you do a nine, then there's two little dots, and then you do, do two zeros, nine o'clock, okay? Then we're going to turn this to a different number. Let's do one o'clock. So the short hand to the one, the long hand to the 12. Then it would be one o'clock. So you just do two zeros. That says one o'clock. You can just copy mine. We're gonna be talking a lot about clocks. So if you're um, feeling a little overwhelmed or lost or confused, just we're just practicing, okay? Now we're gonna leave the long hand there. Long hand to the 12. We're gonna move the short hand to the 10. So this means it's 10 o'clock, 10, zero, zero. This says 10 o'clock, this also says 10 o'clock, okay? So we're making the digital time match the clock time. Last one, what if we put the shorthand on the three, and the long hand on the 12, shorthand on the three, long hand on the 12, that would tell us it's three o'clock. Okay, 
there's that. At some point today, probably right now would be a great time, do your math fact practice. Um, because this video uh, has a lot added with the clocks today, I'd like for you to just try this on your own and then have somebody at home correct it with you. Okay, so you go ahead and do this and then go to say, mom or dad, can you help make sure I did this right? And you guys can go through it and make sure that you got all of your answers right, okay? On our math page today, our homework practice sheet, we're gonna write our name. The date today is 12-15. Dash 2020, and it's Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. We're going to write the number 52. So the way we do that is we do a 5 and a 2. There are two digits in the number 52. 5, 2. Ready? Down and around and give it a hat. Curl around and slide to the right to make the number 52. Down and around and give it a hat. Make or slide, give it a curl and slide to the right to make the number 52. Okay, number two, we have two different um, squares here and they're cut in half. Okay, so each half has a top half and a bottom half. Each square has a top half and a bottom half, and then there's the left square and the right square. Okay, color the top half of the left square, top half, so it's gonna be one of these, and it's going to be the left square, left, L for left. That one's going to be blue. Find your blue crayon. Color the top half, the left square blue. Color the bottom half, so it's gonna be one of these on the bottom, of the right square. Now we know this is left, so we know this is gonna be right. Color that one red. Okay, next, color the top half of the right square, yellow. Top half of the right square, yellow. Color the bottom half of the left square, green. Okay, keep your green crayon. It says color the squares with A, B, and C on this chart. So find the A. Find the B, find the C. Now right down here it says, write what number belongs in the square with the A. So here's the A, which number should it be? Let's start counting, one, two, three, then there's the A, five, six, seven. What comes in between three and five? four. Okay, now next is B. Let's count. Let's start here. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, B, 18. What's in between 16 and 18? That would be 17. Okay, we did the B. Now we're looking at the C. 21, 22, 23. Then there's C, 25, 26, 27. What comes in between 23 and 25? We know it's gonna be a two because everything on this row starts with a two. 23, 24, 25. All right, number four says number the clock face. We got lots of clocks today, all right? Just do your best. We're gonna make the clock numbers. Now it says, show this time. This says an eight with two zeros. That means it's eight o'clock. So we need to do a shorthand to the eight and a longhand to the 12. Friends and parents of friends, 
This is a lot of numbers to write between these two pages, this number, this page, and this page. So if, if you're having some help writing some of the numbers, that's just fine, okay? All right, now it says count by twos, fill the missing numbers. So we need to count by twos, means we're gonna do the even number. So we're gonna skip a number. So it goes two, we're gonna skip three, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. These are even numbers. So you can go ahead and um, whoops, fill those in. If you need to push pause, you can. That's just fine. And that, my friends, is it for today. Nice work.